Hello, my name is Edgar Wallace Bolin III, and I'm an intern at Bayes Mountain Planetarium. I am here today to share with you some cool facts about our hottest planet, Venus. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. It is the second planet in our solar system. The planet is about 0.7 astronomical units away from the sun. An astronomical unit is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, and it's roughly about 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers. With a little math, we can see that Venus is about 65 million miles, or about 105 million kilometers, away from the Sun. Because Venus is closer to the Sun, it has a shorter year than the Earth. One year on Venus is about 225 Earth days long. However, it rotates very slowly and, unlike most other planets, rotates in a clockwise direction. One day on Venus is about 243 Earth days long, even longer than its year. Venus is a terrestrial planet. That means it's rocky, like the Earth. It also has an atmosphere, and this is where the story gets really interesting. Venus's atmosphere is much thicker than the Earth's, and it is made up of about 96.5% carbon dioxide, CO2. This gas is a greenhouse gas. These gases help trap heat from the sun within the atmosphere and keeps the planet warm. Here on Earth, our atmosphere has a small amount of carbon dioxide. This small amount allows our planet to be relatively cool compared to the planet Venus. The amount of CO2 found within Venus's atmosphere has led to a runaway greenhouse effect. This allows the surface of Venus to reach temperatures as high as 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 480 degrees Celsius. To top it all off, the clouds are made up of sulfuric acid. That makes this entire planet not safe for us humans to explore. And on top of that, it's not even safe for robotic explorers. Due to the thick clouds, we cannot see the surface of Venus directly. However, using radar, NASA's Magellan mapped about 98% of the surface of Venus. Here are a few images of the surface of Venus. These first two feature craters. This is Isabella Crater. This is Dickinson Crater. And in this final image, we have an ancient lava flow. You heard that right. Venus has volcanic activity. Despite not being able to see the surface directly, we can still see the highly reflective atmosphere of Venus all the way here on Earth. One of my favorite facts about Venus is that it can be easily spotted in the sky if it is visible. Currently, as of early April 2020, Venus can be seen as an extreme bright point of light in the west as the sun is setting. Before people knew it was a planet, it was referred to as the evening star. This is because sometimes Venus is the first point of light to be seen as the sun is setting. However, it can also be seen sometimes in the morning sky as well. This lends it to also be known as the morning star. With our modern knowledge, we now know that this is the planet Venus, way too small to be a star. Whether Venus can be seen in the morning, evening, or at all, is due to the position of Venus relative to the sun and the earth. If Venus is to the left of the Sun, 
we will see it in the west when the sun is setting. If Venus is to the right of the sun, we will see it in the east as the sun is rising. This positioning causes another phenomenon when viewing this planet. Venus appears to go through phases, much like our own moon. When viewing Venus through binoculars or a telescope, you may see a crescent or even a gibbous Venus. Those are a few facts about our sister planet Venus. Next time you're outside, when the sun's rising or setting, keep an eye out for Venus because it is truly a wonderful sight to see.